friends. Um, today, I, why do I start it like that? Hi, um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I color. Um, it's going to be really weird because I've never done one of these before and a lot of people have been asking for them and I was like, okay, how am I going to do this? Well, I do have a recording system. It's this little thing right here, the Electra Live Screen Recorder. And I use it to do all of my speed paints well it also records audio so i'm going to hopefully not sound like a complete monster because the microphone on my computer is absolute crap but i'm going to show you guys uh with this commission that i've been doing how i do color and i wanted to specifically do it with this character because he's like really the, he's all gray like this is the same thing and i want to show you guys how i distinguish like different parts and like how I use lighting to my effect and also I want you to know that I am a hundred percent not a good teacher I'm not a professional artist this is a not professional opinion do not listen do not do do not listen to me <laughs> like don't like I'm just gonna this is just this is my personal experience okay so the program that I use is called paint tool Sci. It is a beautiful program. I suggest everyone get it, especially new artists, because it's like fire alpaca, but better. <laughs> and um, so the first thing that I do is, okay, I'm going to have to color block. And I call it color blocking. I have no idea what everyone else calls it, but I am blocking out color so that I know that I have base colors for everything. So this guy, the first thing I see is his spikes are the lightest thing on him, besides obviously these glowy bits. So these spikes right here, these are what I'm going to start with. So I take this magic wand tool and I go to the layer my lines are on and I'm just going to select them and I'm going to very sloppily select them. So what that means is I'm not going to go in and like all of these little white patches I'm not going to really bother with too much. It doesn't really mess too much with it. I just want to get the first like I just want the initial color to be present and then I can go back in after everything is blocked out and make it the way I want to make it, if that makes any sense. So we're probably going to speed this part up. Okay, so now that I have the spikes selected, I'm going to go ahead and create a layer underneath. I always, I don't know why I do this, but I always put like a buffer right here, a buffer layer, which means this is a layer that I don't use. I don't need to use it. I don't have, I don't know why. I literally just don't want it. I just want to have like one buffer layer above and one buffer layer below. Which is so stupid, like there's no reason for that, but whatever. So this guy, um, he's, the background on this is going to be light, and he's normally in a dark background. So we're going to go ahead and just, this is my selection too, so like if I don't want those weird squiggly lines there, I can just take it off for a second so that I can see what it looks like without them. And I like that, and I think that's wonderful, and it's beautiful, excellent, great, awesome. Okay, so then I control D, which is how I deselect. You can also use the deselect tool. Um, I don't prefer it though. It's a lot faster to just do boom, click, done. Like, that's it. It's great. Um, so I'm going to do the rest of this, and then I'll come back to you. But we're going to go, I think I'm going darker first now, and then every other bit in between is going to be afterwards. Dark, dark. Oh my gosh, you know what? Here. Side note, Speedy's stupid and forgot that she could totally side by side comparison these characters right now. <laughs> Freaking loser! Okay, so you guys, I have decided something halfway through this, and it's also a cool tip. Like, fun fact! <laughs> Boom! Fun fact! Um, a really, really cool thing about Paint Tool Sci and like most programs in general is the select tool works both ways. So I can go in, and this is the part where I have to be very meticulous, but I can go in and I can select basically the outline of this character now. His name is Crypt Veil. And what I'm going to do is select all the parts around him. And then what I can do after this is invert the selection so that everything but the background is selected, which I find extremely fascinating and also very ingenious. I don't know who came up with it, but they're very smart. 
And then also if I'm not, I don't have to be very meticulous because again, this is literally just color blocking. Like at any point I can change the colors of any part I want. But what I'm going to do very specifically, because he is almost all gray and almost this all same like dark gray, I've decided I'm going to color, I'm going to patch the whole thing one color. And then as I go, I'm going to change the colors as I see fit. Gotta do this. But he's like really cool. Like this is like one of my favorite commissions ever. This guy is amazing. And he was so much fun to draw. Okay. So I think I've got it. So then ready. And I click up here and I click the invert selection. Boom. Done. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go to this layer here. The layer underneath. I'm going to just check really quick. This layer. Mm, yeah, he's a lot of different grays. I think I'm going to take a medium gray. So I'm going to go to the blues because I know it came up as a green gray, but I think it'll be better suited with the background if I go with a different kind of gray. So let's see. It's pretty good. Okay. So now what I can do is I can just go in. Um actually you know what i'm gonna keep these all on a separate layer so i'm gonna keep them selected just so that i can fidget with it a little bit and uh we're gonna speed this up obviously but you're gonna see me like tap into my creative skills and make things lighter and darker as i see fit for a few minutes Okay, so we have doo -doo -doo, a little bit more of a dynamic thing going on here. I'm probably going to change a little bit of his face, but here's the overall. Sorry, it's really, 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 really late here. No, it's not, Speedy. It's 2.56 in the afternoon. So I put everything on one layer finally, and I'm going to deselect so that I can reselect these glowy bits. These bits are supposed to be glowy. So what I'm doing is I'm going to take the glowy bits and I'm going to make them white. Not purple, white. Now, I'm pretty sure every single person under the sun who has followed me for at least um, a week has no understood and uh, come to the realization that I love glowy bits. I love glowy bits so much. All the glow in my love, in my life love life live glowy bits so basically what happens is i make it white and then the you put the purple around it and it'll glow even brighter um i really shouldn't be doing it. everyone's gonna be stealing my shit but it's okay it's a compliment i guess uh white 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 beautiful so that's how i know what's gonna glow and what's not gonna glow now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to check his teeth. Teeth look good. Let's put some more teeth in it. Oh, okay. So, uh, doo -doo -doo. let's try and make a little bit of a darker ring here. Because, like, he has to have, like, some sort of eyebrow. And I love it when characters have that, like, like, here, hey, here's my eyebrow. So maybe, yeah, like the whole face could be sunken in. He really does honestly look like Satan or the devil. And I think that that is the coolest thing I have, like, he's like the coolest thing I've ever drawn. This guy. What a, what a guy, right? Am I right? What a guy. So you see just like how just a little bit of color can change everything. It can change the perspective of how you see the drawing. It can change the perspective of how, um... The drawing sees you no i'm kidding it can change literally everything so that's why i put the shadows on after this because that is one of the main you know components of this is going to be shading shadow and uh, how to make it look good okay so here's what we're going to do i am going to just distinguish a little bit more right here because it doesn't look distinguished enough for me 
We're gonna grab some of this dark shit. Ooh, crap. Sorry. We're gonna grab some of this dark crap. I'm gonna slide on into its DMs really quick. We're gonna... We're gonna... Uh, that's... We're good. That's it. We're good. We're good. Okay, so... Now I'm pulling back out. I'm... I'm it's, it's strong. Pull out game strong. We're going to... Do, 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 do. We're gonna start putting some shading on this guy. I'm gonna save it really quick, just in case. Alright, let's... I don't need this anymore. Goodbye. Uh, okay, so here's how we do shading. How I do shading. Um... The first thing that I do, I used to do it with the select tool because I could just like woo, 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 select and then I could just 100% fill just that in and then make it whatever color I wanted in. Boom, there's some shading. But I don't like that because if you notice, actually we'll go back. No, we do. If you notice, there's, it's very, very pixelated when you use the select tool. When I just draw, um, oh, delete. Okay, if I just draw, frick. It's just, it's way more smooth. Much more smooth than if you use the select tool. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the select tool. Mm, I can't make the, uh, the lighting too intense on this guy because he is already extremely intense like like extremely intense so I'm gonna do this and I will check back in with you guys in a few minutes seconds for you guys was about 40 minutes for me because a maintenance guy had to come in and fix a smoke detector i'm also eating a pop tart this is really professional subscribe <laughs> but basically i wanted to talk a little bit very quickly about how to create depth with shadow and also i want to again put another very large warning on this i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> nor will I ever know what I'm doing. So just, you know, take it lightly with a grain of salt, will you? Basically, to make any sort of, like, depth or, like, concentration on one part of a thing, which I, that sentence made no sense, I'm, like, for round, like, look how round this is. I can make it look rounder by doing this with it. And then all of a sudden, it's pretty freaking round. And so, like, for this one, I'm going to do these two sides are going to be blacked out. And the other two sides are going to be straightforward. And that's how you kind of can tell, like, whoa, all of a sudden it's it's got some shape or something. Holy cow, what? So, just, you know, food for thought. You can make depth and create definition with shading as well as lining and color. You don't have to, like, 100% go straight in it. It doesn't have to look absolutely perfect right when you do you know, the lining, because you know in the back of your head where all the shadow and light is going to go, and vice versa. And so we're going to get back to shading, and then I'll show you what I do with the, with the shadows after. Okay guys, I am jumping back in here for a second um, again because I wanted to make it a point that obviously I'm like joking around that I don't know what I'm doing, but like I honestly sometimes don't know what I'm doing. So like, for example, this little piece right here, I have no idea why this piece is shaded, like is soft and this piece is hard. No idea. I couldn't tell you why. I don't know the physics behind it. I just know it looks right. So when I tell you that, like, all of my drawings are luck, this is literally it. Like, it is just luck. I have no idea what I am doing. I, 
I, I just, I don't know. So, like, I can't help you, um, half the time. Just, I guess, study? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> I feel like shit because I can't, like, uh, help you guys, but, like, I really, honestly, 100%, I can't. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never, I've never had any idea what I am doing. Okay, back to speeding. Okay, so, um... So here we are. The shading is completed. At least the first layer of shading is completed. I do want to darken. I don't do this very often, but I do want to take this, the airbrush tool, and just kind of darken the middle. Um, again, I don't normally do that, but I think it just suits the character a little bit more. If I add a little bit more depth, because then you can tell, you know, like, oh, the leg is farther away than everything else, and, oh, no. Like that. I think that just, that just looks, looks better. Um, so then what I'm going to do is I am going to combine those two layers into one layer. I'm going to select the entirety of the shading layer. I'm going to click Control T. Um, and then click OK because it will select then, you see this, it selected the entire thing, the entire shading uh, area. I'm going to make a new layer, make this layer an overlay layer, and pick a color I would like to overlay. And then voila! You've got something a little bit more dynamic with a little bit less, uh, less issues here. Let's see, hold on a second. Um, I am obviously going to make this less wild. I like it though. I like the purple on him a lot. Mm, something is off though. Hold on one second. So now that I have everything the way I want it, I'm going to select the entire shading layer, which is this layer right here. I'm going to click Control T. I'm going to click OK. It's going to select, then it's going to then select this entire layer. I'm going to create a new layer, make it an overlay layer. I have the color that I want. And here you go. It's now very purple. But I can adjust so it looks more like this. Like this, that's good. Um, and then I'm gonna deselect, and I'm gonna s try and select this like very faded out layer that I just created, and do the same thing. I have no idea if this is gonna work or not. Wow, that is really, a really vague. Let me see. Let me see if we can do something with it. Here, just it's very, very purple. Okay, I'm just gonna. Very vague purple. I don't. I don't know if I like that. I do. I do like that actually. So I'm gonna deselect, and then I've got two layers of shading, and now I can go in and I can start with the lining. A oh, lighting. Sorry, lighting. Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna start lighting this with a base color. So I do two sets of lights on all of my characters. I do a base set, and the base set of light is a luminous set, and I basically select the color that is present on the character, and I go ahead and line like this, where I'll just sort of, I don't know if I like this though, it's very white. Um, a lot of him is going to be very white, so I might darken it a little bit, there you go. But I'll go ahead and I'll line him to match where the the shadows are dissipating from. And then I will go ahead later and do a second layer of purple lighting, and that will be an accent lighting, I guess you could call it. I don't know if it's the same thing. I do a lot of backlighting too, like that. 
I'm, I'm, I'm really bad at this. Can, can you tell? <laughs> not, not the best. But I'm trying very hard right now to create a good tutorial so you guys have a, a foundation of like how I do my work and why it takes so long and all that stuff. And I also always, like, I worried the last time I did a tutorial, somebody ran with it and tried to make it their own style, and it didn't, it, it didn't work, obviously, because people can still tell, like, who's copying me directly and who's not. But, um, I'm, like, very, 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 I'm very comfortable with my style now. I know when people see it, they're like, mm, that's Speedy, Speedy drew that, and... I mean, they could second guess. You'd be like, I thought Speedy drew this, but they didn't. And that's fine. But at the end of the day, people like know my, my style and my work now. So I don't have to fight for my identity, my art identity. I have one now, and I'm very comfortable with it. So I think now is the time to do tutorials so that other people can create and develop their own styles. And just so that I could help the Transformers community. Because a lot of, and the art community in general. Because as you can tell, I have no idea what I'm doing, but... It somehow works. Isn't that crazy? So there's that. I'm glad you guys are here to watch and enjoy. It's kind of like a live stream, but it's a lot easier because I can edit this if I do something wrong. Whereas in a live stream, I'm just like, oh, I screwed up forever and now everyone hates me, even if it's not true. But I appreciate all of you very much very fun to talk to, even if you can't answer back. Alright, let's speed this up. Okay, so the lining or the lighting, Jesus, the lighting is done on the first layer and you see what a big difference it makes. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put a purple hue on the eyes and then I'm going to put a little bit of a purple touch up here and uh, some overlay layers and we'll be done. There really is going to be no explanation after this um, other than, you know, I, I do my very best with every single piece and I try very hard. Um, so, you know, if you like this, uh, apparently I'm a YouTuber now, so if you could, like, like the video, that'd be, <laughs> oh, I hate asking about this. You know what? If you like the video, like it. If you don't like the video, don't dislike it. It's up to you. I don't just, it. yeah, no, dislike, fuck. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you guys. Nope, that's stupid, Nicole, you're a stupid person. I'm gonna go ahead and add some like a, a little bit of like right here. I don't know what that is. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Just leave me alone. So I'm gonna put this in. Gonna frost tip the hair. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is the lining, the oh my god! The lighting is done. The first layer of lighting is done. It makes a hell of a lot of a difference. Hell of a lot of a hell of a lot of, of a di of a different. You know what I mean? So basically, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some purple on the eyes, on the lighting patches. I'm going to put some purple, like, you'll see. Trust me, it'll be great. It won't need really any explanation at all. And then at the very end, we'll come back, we'll talk about it, and then I'll be on my way. Okay, here we go. Speed it up. <laughs> Okay, you guys, um, I keep saying that as uh, as I come back to you, but it's only a few minutes, so it's going to get really annoying probably, so um, I'm going to put a final overlay on this. I'm going to mute the colors a little bit by using a contrast, so I know it looks weird. Hold on. 
if I use this, like, I would say more of an orangey, or a red, even. Just something to contrast the purple, and overlay the entire piece itself, and then I go ahead and sign it, and I am done. So, that that is, um... That is how I did this piece. It's I'm gonna add something to it really quick though, because it seems incomplete to my eye. So what, let me try and do something quick. Uh, get the marker. And he's jumping. So and the this shit. I wonder if I can. Hmm actually isn't half bad if we just measure out the layers a little bit here. Hold on. I have to my eyeball. Okay, itching is over. <laughs> mm. I may have to uh wind this one back a little bit. So hold on a second. I'm gonna take an actual pen. Wow, Nicole, what was that? Take an actual pen and like so I like the way this is I sort of I sort of like it. It's so, so, sort of like it. Shit. Okay, so I like it. And um, I told you, everything I do is bullshit. Okay! I will see you guys later. Until next time. Bye bye. Oh, my Markiplier.